What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm out here with my friend Bart. We go way back too. <laughs> we actually met, we met at the grocery store about 10 months ago and I saw him with this beautiful Mustang and I gave him my card and I said, we need to connect sometime because I would love to take some photos of your car because it's just beautiful. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I would approach doing photography of a car shooting on the Leica system. We're gonna do some close-ups with the new 50, see how the close focusing works and just use kind of a variety of lenses as we go through how I would approach shooting an automobile. But before we get into all of that, I'd love for Bart to tell us a little bit about this car car is a 1965 Mustang. It is now a GT convertible. Um, at the time when I bought it, back in 1979, as a third owner, it, it kind of looked like this, but not nearly as nice. Um, it was white, it had a six cylinder engine and no dual exhaust, and it was very difficult to drive, but I had a car. I had a, at the time, I was at San Jose State and I was playing football and I had a, I had a thousand bucks. The girl I knew wanted $3,000 for the car. So I, my dad put in $2,000 in a Fremont bank and <laughs> as collateral and I got a loan. Then I had to pay 50 bucks a month for, it seemed like forever, but it, 50 bucks a month. <laughs> What a dream. But it was a lot, it was, it, was, it was 1979. So in about 1984, painted the car red. Rangoon red, actually. It was actually the Ford color was Rangoon red. There was two, there was a poppy red and a Rangoon red. This is, the Rangoon red was more red versus an orangish red. Mm -hmm. the, the interior's always been black. Got married, three kids, a couple of dogs. <laughs> uh, the how, car, how was this as a family vehicle? It wasn't a very good family vehicle at all. I can't imagine. I have two small kids. It was, it was not. Never worked out. It was not a good family vehicle at all. But I couldn't, I, I couldn't get rid of the car. I, I didn't want to. And, uh, 2002, right, right around there, we put a V8 in the car, put a five-speed manual transmission in there, in it, and put dual exhaust to kind of give it a, 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 a fresher look and a little hotter car. <laughs> and it kind of stayed that way for a while. Then, but when I turned 60 in 19, 2019, we got the car painted. It, was it was it red until then? It was red until then. But it was very oxidized. It was faded yeah. and so forth. So Ford had a, in 1965, Ford had a, a white, very similar to this, but this is Ford's 2019 Ford's Platinum White. And it's actually uh, it's got some luster in there and it looks really nice up close. Yeah, it looks amazing. Um, especially in the sunlight. My son-in-law stripped the car down Thanksgiving weekend and we took the car over on, on the road again in Classics. They painted the car. My son-in-law son put it back together all during COVID and we beefed it up from just a straight Mustang to a GT version with the headlights, the dual exhaust up to the rear, rear gravel, gravel shield, and then the, uh, the badging's a little bit different with the striping, so it turned out real nice. So. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's an incredible, it's just a beautiful vehicle, and I'm super excited to take photos of it. So we're gonna hop in to, uh, to doing a little shoot. I've got my friend Jesse, he is gonna be the guy in the shots. Jesse, come on over, come on over. I mean, Jesse is a, he's a very experienced model. Shooting. I don't know about that. Now I've used Jesse in another uh, campaign I did a few, was it a year ago? We actually got to shoot in an airplane, which was really cool. Oh, a lot of fun. And uh, so Jesse's gonna, he's gonna help us out with the shoot. So let's jump in. Number one, include a human in your automotive shots. And here's why, photography that's not telling a story is pretty boring. When you look at the better like storytelling ads, you're gonna see the car has somebody doing something interacting with it. Not everything needs to be like a product shot. And a lot of times when people get into automotive photography, they treat it like it's product photography. So this might be the product and you put it in like a parking lot or somewhere, you take some photos of it. But when you put a person in it, then all of a sudden people can start seeing themselves with the product. So always include a human in your story or maybe a dog. I guess you can have a dog. Pretend to be a dog. Yeah, do you shed? Do you shed? Sometimes. Okay, so tip number two is anytime you're taking photos of a car and honestly anything, you always wanna go wide, mid, and tight. Think of how you see things as home base, which would be a mid. Your, your eyes are somewhere between like 50 and 70 millimeter. So a 50 
is gonna be basically like a person's point of view if they're standing beside something. So by having the 50 on, this car is the same size in real life that it's gonna be in my photos. A wide shot like on this Leica Q2, which is 28, is gonna let me see twice as much from my perspective. I also have a Voigtlander Ultron 35 we're gonna take some photos with. And then the tight shot is almost two times how your eye will see, and it creates a little lens compression. And I'm shooting today on the 90 Sumerit by Leica. Not a super popular lens, and a lot of Leica enthusiasts kind of have negative things to say about this, but I think it's a great lens, and I don't shoot 90 a ton, so I didn't want to like overcook what my 90 was going to be, so this has been perfect. So we're going to take some a variety of shots between wide, mid, and tight. Okay, so our third tip is be true to the nature of what you're shooting and in this case being that this is a convertible here in California we chose a nice sunny location on a sunny day beautiful skies and everything to shoot this in now I'm actually gonna put Bart on the spot and Bart can I get you to just drive your car down this road right here we'll get some photos of Bart driving because this car's nature is Bart All right, guys, I hope you found this video informative and helpful. I would love for you to share your thoughts below, especially if you're an automotive shooter. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? Let us know below. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, all the YouTube things. Thank you to Bart and his 65 Mustang convertible, platinum white, beautiful car. Bart, thanks a lot, man. We'll see you later on.